Wait. No! I knew it! I used the rat! Thancred. Are you kidding me? No! No! Come on! And now the voice acting. God damn it. <laughs> now the voice acting's gone. Fucking hell. Hells take the black wolf and this new toy. <sighs> Rob on, we got work to do, man. Yo, Merle Vib. Oh, mommy, rally all available forces. I want them ready to move upon my word. And relay to slap send the order to sail that is all the maelstrom stands ready what of the flames fires burning hot ready as we're like to be I need only give the word to Rolly you're walking a little slow there seeds here is there been no word from Ishgard? None. The dragons have got their tongues. Silent to the last, I was unwise to hope for better. What would stir the archbishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And he claims the fury for his god to bad comedy. My girl. The Holy See has made its choice. We will proceed without its cooperation. Nanamo, damn right. We're going to take care of it. I believe we are all acquainted with the terms of the Black Wolf's ultimatum. We must agree upon a course of action, not less than the fate of Eorzea hangs upon the decision of this council. Van Belsar claims to wield the power to smite primals. Should we yield to him, he pledges to rid the realm of its false gods, yet offer resistance, and he swears that we shall share the primal's fate. Pardon my bluntness, but I like not these choices. This is too great a decision for any one of our nations to make alone. Choose we surrender or resistance, we must answer as one. For if but one surrenders, the rest shall surely fall. Let us pray for the wisdom to do right by all our peoples. <sighs> Bancred's plight troubles us all, yet we cannot allow anything to come between us and our goal. So long as the Ultima weapon exists, Eorzea will never know peace. I'm I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I hate the name Ultima Weapon. Like, I, I I don't like it. I don't like it. Call it like give it like a name name, not like a the ultimate weapon. Call it fucking Jeff. I don't know. Let's go to the Alliance Leaders Torque and help them to make the right decision. God damn, dude! Fucking shit. Torque now requires sound to process which. Yeah! This is my boy! This is my boy! This is my boy! That was my Scion. Alright? That's my Scion for Ulda. That was my Scion, as in, like, you're the, like the really cool one. That's my son! This is my boy! It's my boy! It's my boy! I just assumed he got captured too. I assumed all the Scions got captured. And then Yisola and Ida hadn't been captured. And I was like, okay. All right. 
And then they talked about how it was um, who was and wasn't among the dead. As far as who had to be alive then, it's like, okay. And then talked about who like was actually legit captured and it was like, where's Thancred at? No, I didn't know it, I used the rat. And he's not dead. It's like, well, he's gotta be the rat. But also, why would he be the rat? I don't know. And then he was the rat. The rat! Motherfucker. And aside, bro. Let me get to the sweet voice acting. Uh, we keep treading the same ground. Oh, I'm so glad it's voice acting. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas, our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight, but if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It has been five years since the Calamity, and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Bruh. Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what mm -hmm. meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost, only for them to rise again and again. Mm -hmm. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. But mistake me not. <sighs> I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. Good. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. Ah, in this case it does though. By the twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. Damn right, Rabon. <sighs> not that I deny there is truth in what you say, nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the Remembrance Service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. Do not blame yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. citizens had become lost to hope. If our words serve to kindle it in them anew, better we speak than remain silent. Agreed, Nanamo. Our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? That's my Sultana. While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. That's my Sultana. Her Majesty speaks true. Damn right. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. Mm -hmm. While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough to solve the problems of the present. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. Mm -hmm. The scions of the Seventh Dawn. Alas, they are gone, and the Black Wolf is at our door. Oh, we ain't gone yet. We ain't gone Admiral, yet, Mommy. I fear you are mistaken. Yeah, baby. We live, bitch. Alphinord, Minfilia, and Seven Hells, Master Garland? And twerk. A 
And you, dear friend. Dance right, me. Where's my mouse at? My mouse was. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm not. Raga, Look at that crap. You're alive. All of you. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. <sighs> Accepting the Gallians' offer to vanquish the primals would be folly. Mm -hmm. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Mm -hmm. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Mm -hmm. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Gallian's proposed solution. Mm -hmm. The true answer lies in a lasting peace. But the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We look so good. We look so good. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. Mm. I. Remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm? Mm-hmm. Remember what you fought for, what you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Mm-hmm. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. Damn right. And so I bid you stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. I bid you stand, men of the West. Damn it. Yeah, or nod. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raban? Yeah. Sid, I. Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? Mm -hmm. I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. We Gridanians have no love for war, yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Mm -hmm. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear. Gridanians shall never change. Gridanians, they protect their homeland, even if they are a little racist when they do it. But fight on. Gridania will go to war. Yeah! We will fight the Empire for the sake of the realm and all who abide here. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Not a mo <laughs> face! Yeah, yeah. I, I love, I love Nanamo so much. <laughs> At right. long last, I hear words worthy of a founder of the Alliance. Yes, ma'am. Well, Bon, are we to be all done? Uh -huh. I lost one homeland. The thought of losing another had blunted my resolve. But no man knows better than I that if you want aught, you'd best be ready to die for it. Hell yeah, brother. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. We old dons who have turned sand into gold know this well. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? 
I've fair lost count. Mommy? The lot of you. Like uh -huh. bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round. Uh -huh, mommy. On account of being a pirate myself. <laughs> pirate mommy! And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down or go down with all hands. Oh, I love going down with all hands till sea swallows all, mommy. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. Yes, ma'am. It's my admiral. If our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hands. For Aeolia! Fuck your old maiden. We must needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy at... Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Look, sometimes the voice acting hits and sometimes it, you know, the flames will deploy at... Cut off. You know, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Pray, leave the military matters to us. Pray. And retire to the waking sands. We will send word anon. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Those are my leaders in there. A little odd, but look at what, look, very, okay, very. The Grenadians are very racist, but we're not gonna talk about it. I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. We're getting back-to-back -back cut scenes with voice acting. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled and they will fight to the last. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? When? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Oh! Huh. Hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? Uh huh, uh huh. It's all right, Sid. Uh huh, uh huh. We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? Yeah, because we don't have their man and all done anymore. I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. Fuck yeah, Sid. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sankrid's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Oh, who was at the door? Did we just, you just gonna cut away as if we wouldn't see it? I want to know who. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad we're talking about this now, though. Also, goddamn. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Oh. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. Oh. So that means Thancred is. Possessed, I guess, potentially? That they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as Crystals of Darkness. So that means Thancred could have been, like, good for a hot minute and then got possessed. Okay, 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 okay. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. Ah, there it is. 
This is a crystal of darkness. A mere replica, created using data obtained from uh. anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Oh, it's not Baldesian, it's Baldessian. Good to know, good to know. Oopies. Even for an Archon, Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. No one's quite explained what Archon is, so that's interesting. Is Archon just like super powerful mage in this world? Uh, you know. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. Oh. Interesting. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah, okay, so he wasn't always... Okay, he wasn't always an Asian. Um, he, he was good for a hot minute and then got taken over. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. So it could have been like at the very beginning of the MSQ, we were good. But then at some point in time when we started looking at the Asians, that's when he got taken over. Yeah. Oops. He would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. Interesting. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. Ooh. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. Okay, okay. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. Absolutely. Let me rescue my boy. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Let me rescue my boy. As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain comparisons. Uh -huh. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Uh huh. Yet remember this, however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are he, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. I can be your hero, baby. Come, my friends. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not in unison. More voice acting. Damn! Couldn't go three in a row. Damn it! <laughs> All present, then let us begin. Too much to hope, I guess. We have received the details of the impending operation and what promises to be the largest single counteroffensive in the realm's troubled history. The Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Eorzean soil. Oh, damn. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory. It is enough that each man understands his part and plays it to the best of his ability. Oh, Tataru! <laughs> Can't Tataru and Papa Limo even see the map? <laughs> the finer instructions you will receive at each staging point. 
To begin, let's review the distribution of our forces. Cool. From west to east, the maelstrom of limbs elements of the immortal flames of Ulda and the order of the twin adders of Gridania. Next, let us examine the locations of the Imperial strongholds. Ooh. Okay. We have Castrum Ossidens situated in eastern Valbrand and Castrum Marinum, which lies to the south and east in the midst of the Rotano Sea. Was it... It was Castrum Ossidens that the one guy got sent to. That, that Gaius sent the one of his lieutenants whatever to. I'm pretty sure. Near Ulda, we have the Castrum Meridanium to the north and the coastal outpost of Cape Westwind, which connects Castrum Marinum to the mainland by means of Magitech Transporter. Near Gridania, we have Castrum Orient, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelves Wood. And finally, in, Mor in Mordona, stands Castrum Sentry, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. The forthcoming operation will see allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations with the ultimate objective, destroying the Empire's new weapon housed within Castrum Meridi Merid Meridianum. Shh. Don't, don't look at me. As one might expect, the Black Wolf seat of power, Castrum, Meridanium, boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from its sister strongholds. To do otherwise would be to risk being caught twixt hammer and anvil. The operation will comprise four distinct phases, all told. The first shall see us eliminate, eliminate one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenants, Riditan Sas Arvina. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I knew it. All right. Glad I remembered that. According to our intelligence, the Prefectus is due to visit the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer unit to eliminate him. Tork, we would have you lead this assault. Yo, this animation's so cool. I love the symbol too for us. Is that the Warrior of Light symbol? Or is that the Scion symbol? I don't know. It's beautiful. I love it. Riddaton is a peerless field tactician. Shorn of his leadership, the garrison at Kashram, Ossidens will be as a snake without its head. Phase two will see us sever Kashram Meridanium's primary lines of supply. As soon as Riddaton's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Kashram Ossidens. Maelstrom homies. I love this. I feel like I'm playing Warhammer right now. At that very hour, the Laments and Armada, helmed by the Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Mar Marinum. Marinum. Words. Meanwhile, in the Twelves, with the Order of the Twin Adder, will surround Castrum Oriens. I love all this. And they'll have the Sylphs to help them. Frixio has been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. <laughs> my, my little cabbages. Phase three shall see us neutralize Castrum Meridanium's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the immortal flames will march against the stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy's eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventurer unit shall infiltrate the Castrum. Its mission to disable the Magitech field generator which protects the Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the Ultima weapon is believed to be housed. Twerk, we would have you take command once more. Damn right, I'll gladly do it. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway which connects Sentry and Meridanium, preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. A wise precaution. The monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two castra is capacious enough to transport a small army by all accounts. That's a capa capa capacious? I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like you mean something very large or wide. Or big. As well, the Garleans did not think to give it wings. Once Meridanium's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. This will see the Immortal Flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the enemy garrison. 
allowing Twerk's unit to pass unopposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima Weapon. Oh, that's so cool. By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. So fucking cool. In addition to the grand companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties, from the pirates of Limsa Lamensa to the Monterrist of Ulda. Yo, I hate to break it to you, but the Monterrists don't like me and have tried to kill me a few times. I'm not sure if that's going to go over well. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Sheesh, dude. Legend holds that the Archons were 12 and 1 and 1 and 12. It is for this reason that our grand endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. Now, I don't remember. I'd have to go back and rewatch the trailer, but I feel like when Bahamut was getting like shiny bald captured that that was 12 was that 12 of like things in the ring that lined up don't I, I, well this, this this makes sense then this, this makes sense countless free companies have also pledged their swords and more join us by the day at long last all of eorzea is rising as one as long as it's not the free companies that spam me with invites as before, we Scions shall work in concert with the Grand Companies, Ida, Papalimo, Yistola, Prey, accompany your respective organizations on their missions. Yuri Anje, I would have you represent us in Ulda. Reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray return, pray return, here and aid in the coordination of our forces. Little Tataru's head just barely poking over the box. <laughs> or the text box. I love it. Tataru, please assist Yuri Yanje in any way you are able and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Minfilia, Sid, and I shall accompany the main host in an advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes into our possession and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alphanod mentioned, you are to lead the elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to see each of Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and like to be the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well and stint not in your preparation. All I'm saying is we are a paladin of the highest order now, and we look the part we are ready to lead and be the sword and shield of this operation look at those sword earrings baby we look goddamn good the battle for the future of the realm is about to begin together let us show the black wolf the power of a united eorzea oh sorry sorry everyone does this <laughs> <laughs> we do the pray report to the immortal flames encampment situated to the north of here when you're ready to be briefed on your first mission I cannot stress this enough but please be careful may you walk in the light of the crystal <laughs> yeah baby so you're Torquilles the fearless leader of the elite adventurer unit we've been expecting you our Maelstrom friends report that Riddetin, Sas, Arvina, Depard, Kashram, Ossidens, Abelago. I don't know that time frame, but okay. Is that a day, an hour, a minute? And sure enough, a convoy of Imperial airships landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was aboard one of the vessels. I've dispatched scouts to verify his presence before we strike. Oh, and there's a scout now. How convenient. Command to all units requesting status report. Oh. This is Antelon 1. Target has not been sighted. Ant. Oh, Antlion, not Antelon. Antelion 2. Likewise, target has not been spotted. Antelion 3 here. We've got nothing for you neither. <laughs> Love the mustache. Antelion 4. Nothing to report as of. <gasps> Wait, disregard previous message. Target sighted. I say again, target sighted. 
Understood. Hold your position. We're a go, baby. We're a go, baby. Attention all units. This is Lieutenant Albert Cotter. The first step of Operation Archon begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope of victory will be lost. Tis no small burden, but know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves, and together we will blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow. We will create multiple diversions and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give you a chance to breach their defenses. Go now, Twerk, and bring us Ridditon's head. May Rogger grant you strength. Till sea swallows all, baby. Till sea swallows all. Commence diversionary maneuvers. See what, see what you can throw at me, huh? All oh, the views. Oh, hey, bud. How's it going? It would appear we have unexpected guests. Now, where have I seen you before? Ah, but of course, the man who felled the mighty Titan. Oh, yeah, brother. This is the Icon Slayer. I see the commotion without is not but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess. By eliminating me, you hope to undermine the garrison at Ossidens. A bold strategy to be sure, but have you the strength to see it to fruition? Leave us. None of you are a match for him. Send word to Kashram, Ossidens. Tell them the Lamentsons are coming. At once, my lord. Fifteen years have come and gone since Lord Van Belsar first set foot in Eorzea, yet his ambition for the realm burns as strong as it ever did. Know you what know you what fuels it, adventurer? The desire to deliver the people from their suffering. He caused so much of the suffering, what do you mean? The lands he has conquered were all beset with problems, poverty, starvation, lawlessness, and strife. My homeland was no exception. Had my lord not reached out and claimed it for the empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people enjoyed such peace and stability as we had never known. And he only desires the self same for the people of this realm. Under his rule, Aorzi would be free from the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. There would be no feeble leaders to misguide the masses, no icons to bleed the realm dry. The true peace would reign, and the people would be free to live their lives without fear of persecution or oppression. You're gonna be persecuting and oppressing, what do you mean? Should you doubt the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Garlemald, yet Lord Van Belsar saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be upon the field of battle. He has given me a noble cause to fight for and worthy adversaries to smite. I am not wont to bear my steel needlessly, but if you are deaf to reason. Yeah. In the name of Lord Van Belsar, I, Riddleton Sass Arvina, do swear to strike you down. You will have no mercy from me. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Where's that gonna be to dodge at? Here! Oh, well, you know, that's fine. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No! We were doing so good! No! Fuck off! Fuck you! Easy, very easy. Fuck off. First try.
Uh oh. You are stronger than I had expected. But I have my honor. I cannot, I will not yield. Just cut his head off. Come on. Gasp. Pant. Uh oh. Forgive me. I have failed you. Lord Van Belsar. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if that's good or if that's bad. That light, the Magitech transporter. Twerk, are you there? What news of Ritalin? Fallen? Ritalin. I can. I'm just not going to say that name right. With this deed, you have sown the seeds of our ultimate victory. Okay, we're good. Transporter is not a bad. Okay, okay. The fading of the light presages an end to the Empire's tyranny. Ritalin Sas Arvina is no more. Let the next phase of Operation Archon. Commits. Hurrah! Tis I, it seems you've done it again, Twerk. I'd raise a tanker to you, but I'm afraid you've, we've no time to savor the victory. There's still the small matter of infiltrating Castor and Meridanium and destroying the Ultima weapon. I know, I know. No rest for the pre preternaturally gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way back to the Immortal Flames encampment. The communications officer will issue you your orders. I'll be waiting for you with the main host. <sighs> Look, Heidelin, your minion comes, bringing the light. Fancred, my boy! Alas, the gate to the void already stands open. Soon darkness shall consume all, and you shall bow down before the one true God. Ah ha 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 ha! Who? Prefectus, slain. Regrettably so, my lord, and at the hand of the Icon Slayer, if the centurion who survived the attack is to be believed. Ritatin. Where were his men when he faced the enemy, fleeing even as their commander yielded up his last breath, if it should prove they questioned his right? I, I cannot speak for them, my lord. Beg pardons, my lord, but there is more. The Maelstrom has laid siege to the Castrum Ossidens. Likewise, the Crimson Fleet moves to blockade Castrum Marinum. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you. So this is their answer. You goddamn right it is. Very well, we shall crush them as we crushed the icons. Go forth and show them the futility of their resistance. Yes, my lord. <laughs> 